This video demonstrates Jump Cloud's access controls and zero trust security in combination with for the net appliances. We've created the standard SAML SSO configuration. This is the settings for Jump Cloud. You'll see there is there are similar settings mirrored on the Fortinet appliance. More often than not, these settings aren't filled out and the appliance is just managed by logging into the app through its web GUI. Here we logged in through the user council in Jump Cloud, and you'll see due to the policies we've set up, MFA is enabled, adding an additional layer of security to your firewall, in this case, uh, SSL VPN connection. Presto, we're connected. We're gonna log off here and then demonstrate the Forti client software. This would be your end user experience. And as you can see, here's the simple setup, nothing too difficult. We're going to log in as an end user. We're prompted for our Jump Cloud credentials because we're redirected to it as the um, identity provider. And we're going to log in. And due to the conditional access policies we have set up, MFA is baked in at no additional cost. Here we see it logging in, but due to some permissions on my Mac, um, it's not fully set up yet. That's all right. But you could see that the authentication flow is there. These are the conditional access policies that we had discussed prior. The policy is applied to a user group where the users have SSL VPN access. That's the group. And these are the conditions. You need to be in the United States or Israel in this instance. And then you'll see MFA is mandatory in every login, providing an additional check on the user. And we can also make it so that only Jump Cloud managed devices can log in. So it's your, one of your most important assets, correct? Don't you want it to be protected? That is the benefit. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.